order to watch this video, you need to have already logged into Glogster and set up a class. After you've completed these steps, you will be able to create a template to share with your class, and your students will be able to create their own Glogs. Let's get started. Start out by opening your internet browser. Glogster is a, um, a Google product, therefore it's best to use Google Chrome. Okay, so I'm going to open up Google Chrome. I'm going to log into Glogster. The website for Glogster is edu.glogster.com. Okay, and I'm going to log into my site. All right. Once you've logged into, logged into Glogster, you'll see um, your dashboard up here. This is um, all the tabs with options that you have um, available for things to click. So what you want to do is click on Classes. Since you've already created a class, you'll see your class name listed here, just like you see mine. So you're going to go ahead and click your class name. Then you're going to click on the link that says Class Projects. After you um, click on the link that says Class Projects, you'll see other projects that you may have created, or maybe yours will be blank. You're going to create a new project. Okay. Now, here you have the option of selecting a template um, or creating your own template for students to use. You can see here that I've already created a template. Glogster has um, some ready-made templates for you to choose. So um, if you click over here, create a new Glog, okay, you will see some different options that are available to you. It really depends on the objective that you're trying to meet in this project. For me, for this specific project, students are working on a, um, an end of unit project for fractions, so I think that this one will work best for me. So you're going to click, that's the one that I'm going to choose. You can choose your own or even start from scratch. Okay, the Glog's going to load here. You can look at it. You can um, add or delete. I like everything that's listed here. I'm actually going to take out this picture because it's a little much there. I'm going to um, move this. I want to add another text box here. I, um, one of my objectives is for students to add pictures and captions. And here I'm going to um, describe this a little more. I want students to be able to um, possibly record themselves um, on this video. So. I'm going to give them a little description here. Okay. Um, rec I'm going to write record a definition of fractions and upload the video. Okay. I'm going to move things around because this is a template. Uh, students will have the option to move things on their own, but I always kind of like everything to look nice and neat. Okay, so now I have everything the way I want it to look here. Um, I'm going to change this. I'm going to write enter title here. That way students know that I want them to put a title here. Make it a little bit smaller. Okay, and now I have my Glog set up. I'm going to name it Fraction Glog, and I'm going to click Save. Okay, Glogster um, is um, often things that you create. If you choose, they will be public, so you, they have you choose options, category options. So this is second grade, math, um, and I'm going to click Finish Saving. Okay, so now I've uh, successfully saved my Glog template. I'm going to go back out to my dashboard. Okay, I need to still assign this to the class. I've got my template here, but I still need to assign it to my class. So I'm going to go back into Classes, back into LaSalle, okay, back into Class Projects, and I'm going to go to Create New Projects. I haven't assigned it now yet. And you can see that this is now an option for a template I can choose. So I'm going to click that. It's going to show up over here on the side to show that I've selected it. 
I'm going to name my project. Okay. I'm going to describe it. Students um, show understanding by creating a fraction blog. I don't need to tag it. And <coughs> I'm going to assign it to my class. Okay, you could see my class is listed here. You could also differentiate an instruction by creating different blogs for different groups of students. I have just one group, so I'm going to assign it to my whole class. I'm going to make sure that box is checked. I'm going to send a message to my students. Here is your new project. Good luck. Okay, the students will get this in an email. I'm going to make sure that I assign this to all students, so I'm going to check that, and then I'm going to click Save. Okay, here I have the option to assign this project to the whole class. Okay, so I'm going to click Assign. Okay. Okay, and now my project has been saved, and I've assigned it to students in my class. You can check students' progress on their blog by going back out to your dashboard, going into students, and looking to see the work that they've done so far. None of my students have started this project yet, so I'm not going to be able to see what they've done. Um, but, you know, I've, I can see other work that they have, so um, that's another great feature of Blogster. Okay, have fun.